device, get your Bible, and repeat after me. And I want you to do it with some zest. I want you to do it uh, as you mean it. Amen. This is a 15-year anniversary, and that is um, no small feat. And we want to celebrate uh, with this man and woman of God and with you, this entire church. But repeat after me. This is my Bible, the infallible word of God. A lamp unto my feet, a light unto my pathway. Come on, I am what it says I am. I can do what I can do. I can be what it says I can be. Come on, point at it and say, this word was written by men, inspired by God to increase my faith to restore my joy and empower me to live in this present world. Amen. Now, if you mean that, come on, put those hands together and give God some praise in this house. Hallelujah. I found out something. I found out something. They told me, my grandmama told me that a closed mouth don't get fed. I found out something else. I found out something else. People will come into a certain place and they will, they will let you know who they are. You know, if you go to the football game, they will let you know who they are. If you go to the basketball game, they will let you know who they are. They'll let you know they're a basketball fan. They'll let you know they're a football fan. They, they, you go to the fights and they will let you know, brother, who they are. Right, then we come to the church. Come to the church and they are still let you know who they are. And the thing about it, I think about it, listen, you know, I, I heard that thing say, you know, if I knew then what I know now, I would be further. Right? Don't let this moment miss you. Don't you miss this moment to say, well, you waste five years, you waste two years, you waste 10 years and say, you know, if I had a known then what I know now, I would be much further. This is your moment in time, my brothers and sisters. This is your moment in time that God does not want you to miss your blessing. God does not want you to miss your breakthrough and God does not want you to miss your moment. Look at somebody say, don't miss your moment. Don't miss your moment. That ain't in my notes, but just don't miss your moment. Don't let it get by. Don't let it get by. I remember we were in um, in the, Indianapolis one time, and me and First Lady, we were walking in the in the lobby of the hotel, and I said, there go LL Cool J, and we just walking, and he, he walked by me, and I said, what's up? He said, what's up? We, we never stopped. We be just in Sheridan. She looking around there. I said, there go LL Cool J. She said, I said, LL Cool J. She said, where? I said, I just talked to him. He just went by you. She said, ah! Let me say, don't miss your moment. You can be distracted and miss your moment. You can be in pain and miss your moment. That ain't my, but that's a word for somebody right now. Don't miss your moment. Whatever is going to come up after what I say, don't miss your moment. Hallelujah. God has something. Touch somebody and say, hey, God has something just for you. Come on, put that in the chat. Or something just for me. Scripture, Matthew 18, 18 through 20. And it says, Verily I say unto you, whatsoever, heaven said whatsoever, whatsoever ye or we shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And heaven said whatsoever. And whatsoever ye, or you can put we, shall loose on earth, shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say unto you, that if two, that's me and you. Uh, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they, me and you, uh -huh, shall ask if what? It shall be done for them, me and you, of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered, here's the operative word. Let me say together. 
Come on, let me say it again. Together. Uh, isn't this, it's hard to get together in my name. There am I in the midst. I want to talk to you for a few moments about we are in this thing together. Look at somebody. Just should look at somebody. Get eye contact from somebody. I know we're social distancing, but just look at them and say, hey, hey, we are in this thing together. Most gracious Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this house. We thank you for this leader and his wife. We thank you for this congregation. God, I ask you to decrease me. Increase thee in me that I might speak, herald, preach, proclaim, teach an unadulterated gospel with power and clarity. In your son Jesus' name, everybody say amen. 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 Bertie, I see you out there. Before I get to my first point, uh, I just want to say this. That it's a blessing to be led by someone who is a builder. It's, 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 it's an awesome opportunity to be mentored by a visionary. Amen. Do you know that? Do you know when you, do you know when you are in the midst of greatness? Let me say, don't miss a moment. Oh my God. You, you, you may have been in the midst of greatness uh, when you were in the second grade with your second grade teacher. Oh, you don't know. You don't know. A lot of times you really don't know until you begin to reflect back and find out. Oh, my God. After every, after you have sifted through life, you find out, you start thinking about those great moments, those great people, those great uh, mentors, those great leaders that God has given you the opportunity to come in contact with. Someone who has, has been tested as a leader. Someone who has been tried, somebody who has been proven. Pastor Cubby Salisbury, I'm not preaching the gospel of Salisbury today, but is indeed one of those special people. A lot of people can drive a car, but only the builder really understands the capability of that car. You, you, you know what the motor is in that car. You know what the transmission is, the rear end. You know the shift points and all that kind of stuff. You know what it really can do. But just a driver, just a driver, somebody that happened to have some driver's license, they might just be going down the road like this. Sailing, just a steering wheel holder, just holding in the road. Just like that. They don't even know what kind of power. What kind of potential that they sitting on? They, they holding the steering wheel and they got their foot on the, on the gas. And let me say potential. But they still doing. Here it comes. Y'all ready? The little they know to do. Uh-huh. See, see, pastor, you know, this ain't even my nose, but Lord, I'm just fine. I said, I said, Lord, look, listen, the word of God teaches us trains us, and it, 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 it empowers us to understand the potential that you're sitting behind. Hallelujah. So I believe that your leader was unanimously, unanimously voted upon by the Holy Committee of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Matthew 22, 14 says it like this, many are called, but few are chosen. All oh, women, y'all say amen. Come on, come on, women, y'all. Yeah, many be calling. I thought y'all would get it. I thought you would get it. I thought you would get it. Many uh, be calling, but you, few be chosen. Okay, I just had to break it down just so you understand. You know, because sometimes we get to read in the Bible and we be so spiritually minded that we ain't no earthly good. Like you miss your moment. You don't understand that 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 Daniel might be in the lion's den, but I promise and prophesy to you that if you have not been in the lion's den lately, you probably will be in one. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. So so as we read our text, we thank God for Pastor and his wife. Thank God for their their labor of love. And it is not in vain. It is, I promise you. It, it is not in vain. Pray for your pastor. Pray for his family, his wife, his son, his daughter, his daughter-in-law. Pray for them. Because the enemy wants you to miss your moment. As we read our text, it says, Verily I say unto you whatsoever. Help me say we. Uh -huh. You got to put yourself in the text. Uh -huh. uh, shall bind on earth, uh, uh, shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye, let me say we, uh -huh, shall loose on earth, shall be loosed in heaven. So here we see how this verse parallels the same authority that Jesus gives Peter in Matthew 16 and 9. Y'all remember that? Where, where, where when Jesus tells Peter, and upon this rock, I shall build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto you, Peter, listen, the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Jesus, oh my God, people. Everybody, people have started denominations on Peter because Jesus said that to Peter. But I, I want to show you something. Jesus had addressed the same words in Matthew 16 and 19 to Peter. And now in Matthew 18 and 18, he tells others, tells other apostles that they all have the same opportunity. Oh my God. Oh my God. Listen, you need to just break out and jump out and go to shouting right now. Because you got the same opportunity. Hallelujah. That anybody just put a famous person in your mind. And the Lord is letting us know you have that same opportunity. Amen. Everything that, that comes, it comes from God. Promotion comes from God. Miracles and blessings come from God. They all have keys to the kingdom. And he may have told Peter first, but there was no supremacy or exclusivity of rights. You know, y'all talk about white supremacy. And, you know, some people feel like they, you know, they look at you like you less than. You know, they pull up sides and. Drive on off. They they walk by you and act like you're not there. They they they, they have a a supremacy type attitude uh, that they purchase themselves. Uh huh. But 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 help me say we in this thing together. So 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 here it is. First thing we want to do as far as being in this thing together, I want to raise out of this text is that we must learn to speak. The same thing, the same thing. You got when you when you're talking about becoming uh, powerful and becoming together, be able to 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 achieve things. You're gonna have to learn that you can't do it by yourself. You're gonna have to work. Come and say together, together. So so we have to speak the same. In this place, we're talking about the word of God. Uh -huh. So the authorities of the keys were given to Peter in Matthew 16 and 19. Now here in Matthew 18 and 18, Jesus gives the same authority of those same keys. It comes to his church. You are the church. You are the church of God. You are the bride of Christ. Amen. Let me say we are the church. See, the enemy doesn't want you. You know, back in the, mm, March, April 2020, they said that the church was non-essential. Let me say the devil is a lie. 
See, here's the thing. Do you know some people have said that you are non-essential? So people, people, see, people will say anything to get you not whoo, to pay attention. To get you to miss your mama. They'll talk about your mama to get you to, uh-huh, they'll talk about uh, what you're less than and you'll never be anything. You're just like your hard-headed daddy so you can, uh-huh. But, 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 wait, 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 wait. A- after ordination, Jewish priests were given uh, to key, the keys to the closet of the temple. What do you mean, Pastor? Let me see you over in Facebook. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, they, they, they gave him the keys to the closet. Uh-huh. What, heaven said, what's in the closet? Oh, my God. They got keys to the closet. When they got ordained, they got keys to the closet and, uh-huh, of the temple. And the keys unlocked the closet. Here comes where the scriptures were kept. Mm-hmm. Heaven say it's a secret that somebody is trying to keep away from you. Don't nobody want you to, they, they told me like this, if you want to hide something, what? Put it in a book. They ain't lying. You see how, see that? It's right there. You you want to get out of debt? Look in a book. You, you, you want to become a, a better than you are now? Look. Uh-huh. You want to be, get out of sin and degradation? Look in the book. Woo! So here comes, here comes. Uh, uh-huh. So it, it was in the closet where their understanding of the power and the authority of God was birthed. You hear about, we need that Holy Ghost power. You know, we say about the Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost, 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 power. Huh? You see what I'm saying? Say about that all day. When you get through, everybody still bound, still crying over spilled milk. My wife said, still mean, still feeling hopeless. But here's the thing. Uh, uh, when, 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 when Pentecost, the day of Pentecost come, they, they were filled, the Bible say, uh-huh, with the Holy Ghost and that with power. I found out something that the power is literally understanding. All it is, is understanding. It's understanding. So here these guys, they got the keys so they could get some understanding. Okay, so hear me say, stay in the closet. Uh Uh-huh. So the world will always spread its ideas and, and uh, misinformation and, and, you know, by telling us what's trendy. Have you noticed? Everybody wants to be what's trending. And I've never seen Jesus be trending. I've never seen people, uh, holy life, trend. But, but, but the world is always wanting to be into what's trending. Uh-huh. So here it is. It, it spreads its understanding by using creative marketing campaigns and themes. Satan, through fear and intimidation, wants you to give away your keys. And if you, if you can't give them away, he wants you to misplace your keys. And if you haven't misplaced them, he just wants you to forget about your keys. Just don't use your keys. So you won't ever gain that knowledge of the power that's in your closet. Proverbs 18.21 says it like this, death and life are. Both of those, death and life, are in the power of your tongue. Dogs can't talk. Mm -hmm. Parrots might be able to mimic, but it's not their fault. 
Amen. Can, animals can't talk. Pythons can't talk. The only somebody that can talk is you. Because God made us just a little lower than the angels. Ooh. So you have a will and you got a tongue. Mm -hmm. you, you know, it's some, it's some folk in the cemetery because of their will and their tongue. It's some folk, it's some people that are living a very good life because of the will and their tongue. Heaven say death and life are in the power of my tongue. You want to live? Speak life. Quit, quit, quit getting into negative conversations. When it, that thing will come up now, but your will has to. You, you know, you got to have the will of the Father, and you got to suppress that thing. Say the devil is a lie. I was fitting to cuss them out, but I ain't right now. Not right now. I'm, and when it, it might come up again, but but I'm on, the devil is a lie. I'm going to suppress it, and, and I ain't going to cuss him out right now. Amen. See, the only thing we can be concerned with is the present. Don't miss your moment. See, you, you'll miss your moment worrying about tomorrow. But the Bible says, let tomorrow take care of itself. All I got is the here and now. You work what you're working with right now. Quit putting off for tomorrow because tomorrow is not promised. My brothers and sisters, if you're going to use your keys, you're going to have to use the power of speech. Articulate the world, well, to the world, what you have learned in the closet. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians 1 and 10, now I beseech ye brethren by the, na the, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that ye all, here comes us together, ye all speak the same thing. You, you know, don't get in the hole with nobody that, that, that y'all can't speak the same thing. Don't get in a relationship with anybody that y'all can't speak the same thing. Don't go into business with somebody that y'all can't speak the same thing. Now, here it is. Here it is. And, and, and let, me, let me clarify this. I, I'm not saying the sameness. I, I, I'm talking about oneness. See, see, because oh, the Bible tells us where there's unity, there's strength. See, see, if we the same, one of us is not necessary. Both of y'all are bringing the same thing to the table. If we got an organ over here, we don't need another organ. If you get another organ over there, you know what you're going to have? A battle. Let me say we're in this thing together. Speaking the word of God brings miraculous results. In verse 19 of the text, we see that, uh, 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 the, that Jesus saying that if two, me and you, shall agree on earth as touching, that's, that's praying. Touching. Touching and praying. So so we, we got to speak together, but you, you got to also know the Lord. So, you know, somebody praying to Buddha Somebody praying to Muhammad. Somebody praying to Harry Krishna. Somebody praying to the, the watermelon God. Somebody praying to the juicy fruit God. And then somebody else praying, you know, say, we need prayer back in the school. Who you going to pray for? Them? You done already messed that part up. They would say, pray for me and pray with me. All right, Gigi, I see you. Uh -huh. So in order to access the potential that God has promised, you must learn how to come together. So speak the same thing. That's, that's speaking the same word. Go in the closet. You got the keys. He gave you the keys so you could go learn. You understand? 
See, some, you know, some folk got, it's bad when folk, you ever seen anybody get hold to some bad religion? That's like getting hold of some bad drugs. Just mess your high all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Or you like, I'm going high. And then you, you just gone way after you lost your mind. Amen. Same thing on drugs. Folks get out that bad religion. You, you get on. You, you can tell when folks been on some bad religion. You, you know that, that, that you, you know. I love the Lord no matter what I do. I love the Lord and He loves me no matter how bad I am. I know the man, Amen, upstairs, but I'm still down here doing whatever the devil I want to do. I, that's some bad religion. That's some bad religion. You, you, this, you, you, you still have to be accountable for what you know. That that you know you are accountable for. And here comes somebody else saying, well, I ain't going to play with the man. I ain't going to go to church until I get right. What? You ain't got that much right in you. Y'all laughing because y'all know them folk. Just don't point at them. So speak the same thing, the word of God. Here's the second one. I want to lay my hat on. Touch the same thing. In other words, agree with God. The word agree in the text means, uh, the Hebrew word is siphoni. Siphoni. So, so that's where you get the word symphonize. And that's where you get the word harmonize. Heaven say same song. Same tempo. Come on, same key. Same tune. Same God. Same spirit. Same savior. Same faith. Uh, and all of that will bring about what? The same attitude. Oh, my God. I used to be a choir director. I was a child, and I had to set grown folks straight. Because they sitting in the choir. You know, I was raised. I had a good child. And you know, my folks said, respect the grown folk. They didn't tell me the rest of the class, though. See, here's the thing. You respect grown folk. As long as they acted like grown folks for that. They didn't tell me that. They just said respect grown folks. So I'm yeah, about 15 years old. I'm over the choir. And I'm waiting for the grown folk to stop talking. I'm, I'm, okay, we ready to start. Choir rehearsal ready to start. We're going to learn this song. I'm waiting for the grown folks to stop talking. Grown folks didn't stop talking. I said, okay, let's go. They, matter of fact, they start talking louder. In the teachers in the house. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You get a bunch of teachers together, you got yourself a hot mess. They saw it. They spent all their life telling the students to do something that they ain't gonna do. Get them in the get them in a conference or something. They, and then when somebody tell them to be quiet, then they got their lips stuck out. Who are they? And that's all. Listen, obedience is relative. Obedience. You, you, you got to understand you have to subject yourself and submit yourself to what's going on at the time. Okay, so here it is. Uh -huh. that, that's why music is so powerful. Uh -huh. Music is in the, in the simplest form. I say it like this. It's the manifestation of agreement. Music. You, you, got, you got songwriters. Somebody have, has written a song. Somebody is singing the song. The musicians are playing the song. The director is directing the song. The producer comes together. And all of this creates a perfect manifestation. Isn't that something? So our prayers uh, must be in tune with the word of God and in tune with the spirit of God, not in tune with the president of the governor or the governor. Our prayers, the church must skillfully pray in tune by the anointing of God. So him say we're in this thing together. The text mentions binding and loosing prayers of agreement have the ability to make what was lawful unlawful. And what was unlawful, lawful. What do you mean, man? In other words, when the doctor says no, God still can say yes. Uh -huh. Prayer can override the laws. And, and when the devil says no through prayer, 
no matter what anyone else says, God has the last word. Heaven say, we're in this thing together. So your enemy feels the power of agreement. I, I, at the count of three, I, I just want you to say this. I agree. Come on, one, two, three. Uh huh. See, see, that was about eighty percent of y'all. But it, it, if you just can get together on that, you're gonna see miracles happen in your life. Come on, at the count of three, hear me say, I agree. One, two, three. Hallelujah. So he doesn't want you and your spouse to come together the enemy doesn't he doesn't want you and your church uh, to come together mm. he doesn't want you to line up with the leadership of the church uh, he understands he understands the power uh, of family uh, that's why he worked so hard uh, to keep things divided. Uh, he worked so hard uh, to discourage uh, the members of the church. Uh, hallelujah. And he is surely uh, afraid of the anointing and vision of a godly leader but my brothers and my sisters greater faith and deliverance ministries has been authorized to speak those things that are not as though they are you have been given authority to begin to touch those things and at the name of Jesus demons will flee you have been given authority to pray about those things and at the name of Jesus here it is cancerous things hallelujah will die hard issues those things will be driven away kidney situations will be departed and family things will regulate well yeah when greater faith and deliverance outreach ministries began to touch those things at the name of Jesus see you got to know what's in the closet the closet gives you power to bind things and to loose things the closet gives you power to touch the sick and they shall recover the power in the closet hallelujah says that you are the head and not the tail that you are above and not beneath whoa well in order to access the potential that God has given you after you have prayed and after you have learned to speak those things that is not as though they were after you have prayed and you have learned to touch those things and agree with God the next thing I want to leave with you you got to believe in the same thing have faith in the same God have faith in Jesus Christ and watch God work on your behalf come together everybody holler together and have faith that at the name of Jesus bodies shall be healed at the name of Jesus burdens will become lighter at the name of Jesus he will fix your brokenness he will lift a bow down head wherever in the kitchen wherever on your job wherever in the hospital two or three touching and agreeing
greeting, gathering, the gathering, gather together. Oh Lord, means gathering, means to lead into gathering, means to fellowship. Keep coming to church. Keep watching church. Keep getting close to the glory. And watch God work on your behalf. The gathering can be in the building at 747 Commerce Drive. The gathering can be on a telephone line doing a prayer call. The gathering can be on social media doing a Zoom call. The gathering can be in the parking lot. Doesn't matter if you're at home, in your car. All you got to be is together. Wherever you began to speak miracles. Wherever you began to touch. Wherever. Hallelujah. Believe and have faith.